Internet, the pro core promise of the Internet was as much information as we've ever had at your fingertips, and the result has been a centralization of information, this is deliberate, needless to say, but unnoticed by most people, that results in more controlled information than we could even have imagined 20 years ago. So a lot of information just is not available. I mean, because it's digital and it's controlled by a small number of companies, the polling suggests that a lot of Americans, and I don't mean like hundreds, I mean hundreds of millions of Americans, have no idea what's going on. They don't know the facts about certain things. That it's not just because they're dumb or they're distracted on their iPhones. The whole point of the iPhone was to inform you, and the net effect has been to make people completely ignorant of the core, of the actual facts, like the non-disputed facts about a lot of different things. And you saw this certainly during COVID. So that challenges the idea of democracy, which you know, rests on the notion of an informed voting public, of a citizenry. And we don't have that. And, um, and that really, I, I never would have expected that at all. And the last thing I'll say is don't throw away your hard copy books because they are the repository, the enduring repository that cannot be, and I'm dead serious, and I don't mean to, I'm not gonna tell you to buy gold and ammo, though obviously you should think about it. But definitely don't throw away your books because they can't be disappeared because they exist physically. And I would say a corollary to that is don't throw away your relationships with other people because they can't be disappeared either. The, the material, the physical, things that you can smell, those are the things that you can trust. Your spouse, your dogs, your children, especially your dogs, but you know, your, your actual friendships, your college roommates, people in person. As the world becomes more digitized and people live in this kind of, this realm that's disconnected from physical reality, I think the only way to stay sane is to cling more tightly to the things that you can smell.